I kind of knew I wanted commitment and I wanted like, you know, a real relationship. But for some reason, all those things have quotation marks in our peers. Oh, a relationship or, oh, like you want to settle down. Like I really do want those things, but I should want them for real. And I really didn't expect to meet Raj. We really have a Tumblr love story. So I randomly got on Tumblr, started looking at beautiful things, and then I saw that Street Etiquette was having this like Apple Store event. Then I saw a love story, and it was like right after that. Love story is something that I posted <laughs> on my site. It's this photo story, absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. Then I saw Raj, and I was like, oh, I recognize him. He looked like his default on Tumblr. I'm such a doofus. Like I saw her, and I was like, I was yeah, like, you didn't say anything. thank you. And I just kind of like walked away. It was so goofy. Okay, so he's kind of quiet. Whatever. <laughs> it's terrible. I was like, I got to go back. And I went back. She was gone. I was like, no, I'm going to get this together. I'm going to figure this out. So I messaged her on Tumblr. I was like, hey, I'm going to London for a while. We're having a little party. She says no. Yeah, why'd you say no? Because I, <laughs> I live an hour and a half away and I have a normal job. No way I can make it. As I came back, I was like, I was still thinking about her. And then I got a message from him. I was like, hey, I just saw the Bill Cunningham documentary. It's really good. I'd like to see it again. She was like, sure. And it was like the best night ever. We did cartwheels in the street. We had pizza. Literally like... did cartwheels. We got engaged a year today in the App Store. I actually sent her a Tumblr question again, right? Saying, um, you still have the question. I still have it. Can um, I get up and get it? I saw you for the first time last year, and now I know that I want nothing more than to see you every day for the rest of my life. Will you marry me? I just said yes. I just believe in marriage. So my dad is Indian, and my mom is Kenyan. When they got married and had me, it was social scandal. They're definitely like groundbreaking people and have a sort of gypsy adventurous spirit, which they've definitely instilled in me. There's a funny like monastic thing that has just kind of followed me in my life. I lived in a monastery for a while, like eight months. There's something bigger than any one person's perspective. My father's taught me like the power of commitment and to really just end responsibility. And like my father and I will change the oil in the car, work in the yard, do all those things like that. And him, he'll have the same sweatpants for like years. I'm like, I'm not about to throw something out. These shoes were like so beat up black shoes. So I just kind of sanded them off painted them blue. Same thing with this shirt, it was kind of long, I just cut it off. I shoot in this stuff, I roll around on the rail yards with this stuff. So it has to be comfortably functional. I just wear a uniform. Raj is just like so good at just like making things happen with what he has. That's just really rubbed off on me. We went to London and she was cold and she just like put the socks over her other socks and I was like, that's cool. I'm doing that forever now. <laughs> this, this is cool. Like I didn't think about stuff like that. Like I'm not. Right. Yeah, my mind doesn't work like that. Our greatest challenge, which is going to be our greatest victory, is working together. As we've been able to like put this book out, Visual Insights Outer Borough. We printed, we hand bound and covered, designed, conceptualized, yeah, everything. You're never going to find the fulfillment that exists in just finding something and like digging your roots, roots mm -hmm. deep down into it. And it's the same thing in relationship. There's a fullness in that single path. I don't see any fixedness to our life. I see us growing together, and that's the part that's really exciting for me. It's an anchor that causes you to be free from a lot of things. There's so many social things you don't have to worry about. I think a lot of us have been paralyzed by too many options, and no one's showing us how to stick to one thing. The sexual experience has been demoted to like just an act of thrill. Intimacy is like goes well beyond thrill. Right. There's thrill in it because we have fun. <laughs> right. No one it's wants like, to imagine that there is sanctity to it, but I and I think you don't experience it if you're running around with this person and that person. The whole premise of Sex and City is like, can a woman have sex like a man, and can she just do whatever she wants? Those girls were also super insecure. The legacy they've left women is got all that insecurity in it. With like the girls' generation, as a woman, this is freedom, right? Like so. Why do I still feel like I don't know who I am or I don't know what I want? And everything seems to be like a transaction or like a commodity mm -hmm. or a thing. As much as I, we love community and we love sharing with community, she's all I really care about. Like, I care about spending life with her. I care about just having fun with her and just laughing together. And at the end of the day, who cares how many followers experience that moment with me as long as I experience it with her.